The mainstream EV market is expanding all the time, but so far most of the new entrants on the field take the same form, crossovers. Volkswagen intends to change that with the ID.7, a mid-size sedan that arrives just in time to do battle with the Hyundai Ioniq 6. Based on the same MEB platform as the popular ID.4 crossover and the retro-tinged ID Buzz van, will the ID.7 carry the same anticipation? Well, a big splashy debut at CES 2023 with this wild coat of paint should certainly help matters. For more on CES 2023 and to keep up to date on all the EV news and reviews that we have coming down the way, please be sure to subscribe to the Inside EVs YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media. Now, back to the Volkswagen. First off, as you can see, the vehicle I'm standing next to is still camouflaged. We should expect to see a full reveal of the ID.7 sometime in the next few months. But until then, we can still make out a few cool details on the vehicle that Volkswagen has hidden in plain sight at CES. First of all, this is a much larger vehicle than you'd expect when viewing it in photos. The wheelbase is six inches longer than that of the late and lamented Volkswagen Passat, and it's also half an inch longer than the Hyundai Ioniq 6. So this vehicle definitely has some serious road presence. The roof line is also much higher than I was expecting, and these tall body sides conspire to make it look just a little bit like the electric vehicles from Mercedes-Benz. And that's definitely not a bad thing to be punching above your price in that respect. There's also lots of details on the body itself, like this crisp line that runs all the way from the headlights to the taillights that kind of help give this car a sophisticated and modern appearance. We should probably talk about this coat of camouflage while we're here. Although it's not intended for series production, it still does a very good job of attracting attention to the ID.7 here at CES. This car is painted with 40 layers of paint, far more than the traditional vehicles four or five. An electroluminescent layer near the top reacts to a current and alters the illumination, morphing the body design in a dazzling light ballet. Now, cost and complexity would probably make this paint far too expensive for a traditional vehicle, but I still bet some customers would be willing to pony up the dough for a four-wheeled mood ring. Underneath the sleek bodywork and that fantastic paint is Volkswagen's modular electric matrix platform. The automaker hasn't copped battery or powertrain specifics for the production ID.7, but representatives claim a WLTP range rating of 700 kilometers. Plan on seeing 380 miles or so when the EPA gets their hands on the ID.7. Those long legs are possibly the result of the 82 kilowatt hour battery found in top versions of the ID.4 and ID Buzz, with the sedan's slippery sheet metal and presumably lighter weight yielding a range increase compared to its siblings. The ID.7 will also get some novel interior technologies, including an augmented reality head-up display digitally controlled HVAC vents that send air only to occupied seats, and a revised infotainment system with a 15-inch center display. And although Volkswagen's touch-sensitive slider buttons persist, despite my objections, at least they're illuminated at night now. The ID.7 should arrive just in time for the 2024 model year to do battle with the likes of the aforementioned Ioniq 6. But with a longer WLTP estimated range than the Hyundai, the ID.7 should attract brand loyalists, Passat refugees, and EV customers alike to check out their local Volkswagen showrooms. Still, as eye-catching as this thing looks in this fantastic camouflage, we won't know for sure until we get a chance to slip behind the wheel, so be sure to stay tuned.